Morning, day six, five, five, day five. Uh, this is our supposed rest day. It's 35 degrees and we're heading out on the bikes, apparently for a rest day. And I've just found out there's sand involved. Lyndon, you're a p I'm bad. Bruce, nice to meet you. It's like a big natural coliseum, isn't it? The Dizzy and Chica Pass. It's 45 degrees. <laughs> Give you an idea of where we are. This is a town called Arfoud, which is about two thirds of the way down the east border of Morocco. Uh, we're about, well, I don't know, half hour, an hour north of Merzouga. It's hot, proper desert, and it's where adventure lies, if that's your thing. No. What's up? I think what we're looking for is the stairway to heaven. Lyndon's a bit of a Zeppelin fan. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> this little kid on a push bike. <laughs> Just overtaking us all. <laughs> Two up, one sat on the crossbars. Brilliant. Hello. Oh, hello. Well, here we go. Oh, Jesus. That looks f***ing stupidly sandy down there. In fact, bollocks to that. There's no way I'm getting stuck again today. Right. That black triangle out there in the desert, that's the stairway to heaven. Which is a stairway that's been built by some artist. But you cross that sand over the riverbed and out into the desert. Forget that. Are you okay? I'm bad. I'm bad? Bruce, Bruce, nice to meet you. Right, decision is three of us are going to abandon ship, head back. The uh, intrepid adventurers are going to head off into the desert and do their thing. Here we go. Stairway to heaven. This has been uh, a bit difficult getting here. There's only four of us made it. All right, Mr. Warren, pal. All good, pal. All good. So come good. on, one, two, good. three. Yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, I feel good. This this temperature this morning is damn sight more acceptable, 30 degrees. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it feels that, cool. Isn't that, isn't that nuts? 30 degrees feels cool. Yeah. Oh. So straight on, folks. Takes you to Mazuga which is uh, the sort of mecca for overland travel. A lot of the big rallies and stuff will start or finish or have a post there in Morzuga. If you've watched any of the other vids I've done on Morocco, that's where the camel trip starts and ends. Don't do the camels. <laughs> but now, we're heading west. Oh, wow, look at that. It's impressive, isn't it? Wow. Oh. That is impressive, isn't it? That geology there. Yeah. You see how the sand really easily swallows the road sometimes. Oh, look, yeah. Right, I think that is the crater over there that we're aiming for. OK, guys, you can see this is it. Um, the one I saw back, not the first one, the second one, I could see the whole trail. So, um... If you're up for it, it'd be good to get everybody here and then we're all one group. Let's do it. Oof, we jolly well. Wow. It's more impressive the closer you get to it, doesn't it? That is what she said. Woohoo. <laughs> Sorry. It's like a big natural coliseum, isn't it? Look at Edgar at the top of the hill. <laughs> wow. So this is an old extinct volcano, apparently. Wow, look at that. Look at that there.
It's an impressive place, isn't it? Wow. There's more all down there. Oh, bro. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a natural amphitheatre, isn't it? Wow. So this here, this is an old extinct volcano crater. Creates like this natural it's a coliseum almost. It's amazing. Beautiful place. Who's that over there? Is that Linden? That's Linden. Uh, how accident happened? How you lost the tour guide? Follow me. And then suddenly we were without the time. I don't mind this stuff. This sort of hard trail stuff, I don't mind. It's when you get all that soft stuff, I hate that. Still kills my legs though. I'm trying to lock my legs out, but... Whew. Steve just wants to be off-road, look. He's done most of this trip stood up. And you want Steve on your pub quiz team. Ask him what the ridges in a banana mean. Oh, and we learnt about oranges last night off of Linden, didn't we? Belly buttons and dots, what they mean. If it's got a belly button, the orange is going to be easy to peel. And if it's got a dot, then it's a juicer. Because it's going to be hard to peel. There you go, every day's a school day. Everybody's Googling the banana ridge just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's us up behind hands now. I thought it was an adventure bike. Uh, yeah. We've not seen a single adventure bike on this trip, have we, other than us? Not one. I not saw... a single overland vehicles at all. No. I mean, it is July, but it's hot down here no matter what, really. So and it's nice when you're on the move. 36 degrees at the moment. It's actually not bad. That bit's got a proper African feel to it, hasn't it? With these uh, sort of brush scrub trees everywhere. Uh, de definitely has, yeah. You know, you hear these tales of survival, don't you? People that get lost in the desert, and especially during the Second World War, people that survived out in the desert and actually managed to walk back to civilization. You get a real Good appreciation for like what an achievement that is. It's just standing in the heat down here is is hard work. My well, mate uh, Duncan, he was the chap that was out here a couple of weeks ago on his Husky 350. Full respect to you dude. You spent most of your time out in the desert. My god. Fair play Paul. Right then folks, we just stopped, had a bit of splosh, a bit of a cool down. The uh, off-road maniacs have decided they want to have a little buff up, a little bit of fun. And they are going to tackle the off-road section that had been previously planned for today but it's got one section over a sand dune a fairly big sand dune so we've split myself pete and didier we're sticking to the tarmac and we are heading to the hotel in zagora and the other lads hopefully will meet us later on yeah, if anybody thinks we've cuffed out, they want to try lifting the GS up in 40 degree heat yeah. after they've been out in 40 degree heat for yeah. several hours. It's amazing, it's 39 now. The difference between 38 and 39, I know it's a degree, but wow, it is massively different once you're out here. 38 is bearable, 39, it just, even the air starts to get really hot. But I'm getting so much enjoyment from actually just traversing the landscape. Yeah. Travelling through it. It's changing. Look, it's changed again. Yeah. We've got palm trees all of a sudden. We had nothing, literally nothing, 15 minutes ago. Or nothing at all. And then we got some trees and shrubbery. Now we've got some palm trees and it keeps constantly changing. Yeah. The bits are fantastic. It's a proper adventure, isn't it? Blimey, look. Nothing. Nothing. This is 
all a new road as well. Beautiful. All right, we're having a squash stop. It's about 43, maybe even 44 degrees now. It's hot. There's no respite from it. Even the wind is like putting your head in a fan oven. So we're uh, getting a wee bit of squash. 60 miles to go to the hotel, hopefully. Didi, you enjoying it? Loving it. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. How you doing, Pete? Yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> And this kind man opened up his cafe for us, got some drinks. Thank you very much. Oh, it's so nice to be moving again. My God, that makes such a difference, put that water on you. Yeah, folks at home, these neck buffs here, believe it or not, you need them when it's hot because it, it stops the sun beating down on the back of your neck all the time, which can give you heat stroke. So what you do is you soak them in some water, it makes basically they're ringing wet. Just put them around your, your neck, they'll dry within minutes anyway but it really is nice and refreshing. You end up just emptying loads of water, literally over your helmet, so it comes through your helmet, down the back of your neck, but it just dries. You saw us getting in the lakes the first couple of days. You just do anything to try and keep cool. There's no lakes down here though. My God, it's 45 degrees. <laughs> We're at 46 degrees. My boots are on fire. And here we are, Kasbah Sirocco. Ooh, that'll do us right over there. Hotel and the spa. Gosh, beautiful. 25, yep. sorry, 45 degrees. It is hot. Hot. Make sure you got lots of water when you come here. Think about one, two, three. Morning, folks. This is day seven, I think it is. And today's plan is to head to Marrakesh. It's a big day, so we've got a nice early start. We're heading west now, out towards Wazazat. And then from there, we'll head over the Atlas Mountains. Mm, I think we're doing the Tizi and Chica Pass. And all going well, all going well, we should get to Marrakesh at a reasonable time to go and do some exploring. Let's see what the day brings. Are working perfectly when you're in close yeah, yeah. proximity. Well, you don't you don't have to be far out before they stop working. I know it's, it's literally line of sight, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. See if you were in a group that might help it, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Sometimes that that bridging thing works, and other times it, it it doesn't. All that happens is you just end up with one little group at the front, and they can talk, and then another group at the back, and they can talk, but the two groups can't talk together. You know, if there's, a, uh, if there's a distance between you. It's definitely not perfect, but um, it's pretty good when it works. You can just come here and ride the roads, folks. You'd still enjoy it. They're awesome. Let's give me a look at that. Hello. Look at that to the right. Wow. Amazing that, isn't it? Isn't it? A plate, yeah. That's incredible. There's a Scottish lass on, on Instagram who's a geologist and she abso like, absolutely adores rocks, loves them. And her, her account is really good. She goes around different places and explains all the, the uh, geology and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you would love it here. Come here to Morocco. You would absolutely love all this. Oh, we're stopping. Look at this. Look at this. In. We're in Morocco, Pete. Yeah. Africa. Amazing. Baby. Give me these roads all day long, pal. Yep. For this view.
come here, people. Just come here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Fabulous. Is that that star thing, that light thing there, though? Oh, yeah, that could well be it. The solar power generator thing. Yeah. So it looks like it, doesn't it? What does it do again? It's got thousands and thousands of mirrors and it focuses the sun's energy. Is it a, like a power generator plant? That's the light thing there, folks, right over there. It's a big, massive sort of tower. And then there's just thousands and thousands of mirrors that all direct the sun's rays to the point. You can see there, it's white hot. And then that generates a significant amount of power. I don't know how much. I'll put it on the screen now. Folks at home, I've never come here and not had this. They're, they're continually working on the road all the time. So just keep that in mind. If you see these orange and red sort of roadwork signs, generally it means there is. Not always. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start the Tizzy, the Tizzy and Chica Pass. Enjoy. me to go ahead. What a fantastic road, isn't it? You'd never think this was here. This is the worst toilet in the world, right here. Because I had the view down the valley. This is the downhill bit coming. This is the start of the sort of Stelvio bit and it all zigzags its way all the way down. Just watch, if you can hear me Pete, just watch for gravel at the edges. lost. And then right down the bottom down there, there's a calf. This is where the off-road bit was. <laughs> Look at that map. You can 
you see the layout on Cali. <laughs> Connection lost. Right, you'd never think you'd get something like this here. Seriously, road riding in Morocco, top draw. Group connection lost. <laughs> Just took my boot in. lost. Right, hopefully I'll get the whole tizzy before we run out of battery or card and that is the restaurant. That's a nice cafe that if you ever need to stop that's well worth it. Right, it's a wee bit more sort of twists and turns like this and then it comes right down onto like a plateau and that's Morocco now really, all the way west to Marrakesh. Let's then come up one, two, three. Whew, right, we're in Marrakesh. Almost the centre, three miles before the hotel. Whew. It's 36 degrees but it feels about 66. Whew. A little bit sticky. Got banging so red. You're getting the Marrakesh experience, baby. Ooh, it's very nice. Wow, look at that. Very posh. Right, we should be at it, Riyadh, wow, there. So, this is our Marrakesh Hotel. It's called the Riyadh Wow. So then it's the hotel. Pretty nice. Not sure if that's our pool or not. We'd better just doubt it. So, very nice. So, go to my room, just in here. Check this out for a room. These massive doors. Through another set of doors into the room. Just shut those doors again. Because the air conditioning's on. Check this out. Look at that. Wow. Well, Bathroom. Check that out. <laughs> That'll do, won't it? Welcome to Marrakesh. Woohoo! Oh, I feel terrible. I've had too much sun today. The boys are all out uh, exploring Marrakesh. Oh, I just feel terrible. One minute I'm freezing, next minute I'm sweltering. Bloody sun, I'm a Scotsman. <laughs> 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 okay, as Bruce is um, 
laid up, unfortunately, bless him. A bit overheated. Here we have the uh, main square in Marrakesh. And with the air conditioning, spraying cold water in the air. It's fantastic. And we're eating in uh, a nice restaurant that overlooks the... Uh, overlooks the square. I can recommend it. We haven't eaten yet, but that's in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh. 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 